Hey, what is up everybody? Blackwing K here, and welcome to another part of Tokyo Dark. So, in the last part, uh, we we actually did a lot. We actually did a lot in the first part, so we... I think we got the, we got the detective killed, Detective Tanaka Kazuki. So, I'm not sure if I, we were actually supposed to um, be able to save him. You know, I might have screwed up, you know, I took the drink from the lady, I didn't flirt with the fat guy. I, I did a lot of things, you know, different. I took my gun out in public, in public and just shot things. And, yeah, so it, it wasn't the most uh, professional thing for a detective to do. Uh, I understand that. So, you know, I, I quickly understood what the game is doing. So it's giving you all these options, and um, there's no going back, basically. So it's like you choose something, and it auto-saves, and that's it. You're done. Like, you have to just keep going with the story to see where it goes, to see what kind of ending you get. So yeah, like something like this is good to be playing something like this blind. It it really, it, it really brings forward like a really good per um experience. I was gonna say Persona because I remember about Persona how we played through the game and you know it's a really fantastic experience playing through Persona. So yeah, will we be done with the game today? Uh, let's see. Let's find out. Cause we did do a lot last time. Even though it was only like less than two hours of gameplay, but we might be like halfway done with the game. Okay, again, just to recap real quick, so last time we got the detective killed, we were taken back like six months in time to see how things actually got started. So the redhead girl is pretty crazy. Uh, something about a mask, and um, there's probably some supernatural elements involved. It'd be crazy if everything's just in our heads too, because they're trying to dismiss it as like, no, you're going crazy, just stop, just stop. And so yeah, we were at the hospital and they told us to take meds, and so we're currently back in the present, I believe. As you can see from the gloomy expression, the TV is all staticky right now. That's kind of creepy. Uh, let's see. We can talk to our cat. We can look at the laptop. Uh, let's talk to the cat first, I guess. Hey, little one. Look at you sleeping there. Not a care in the world. At least you're alright. I don't know what I'd do if both you and Kazuki... No. I can't think like that. There's more to all this, too many unanswered questions. I'll get to the bedroom. I'll get to the bottom of it. Oh my lord, I can't read. I'll get to the bottom of it. Manage to salvage a normal life out of this somehow. Don't worry, little one. Alright, so the cat is sleeping. We're not allowed to... Oh, I, I thought I heard something in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little paranoid here. Definitely not scared, though. Not scared. Uh, Alright, so we have the medicine. They told us we have to take the medicine because we have to watch out how uh, our sanity, I believe, or our, yeah, our neurosis, our sanity, we have to be careful with that. If our sanity is all the way down, we go crazy, we probably have another episode and whatnot, so that, that's probably going to factor in the game as well if my sanity is all the way down there. So I guess let's take the medicine. I mean, you know, let's... No, not settings. Go back. What am I doing? There we go. So let's take our medicine. The pills that the doctor gave me are right on the table where Kazuki left them. Count on him to pester me about my health when he's gone. I hate these pills, but I'll have to take them for your sake. Alright, she looks very... Alright, so my investigation... Right, so they said that it's gonna have some side effects to the investigation or, you know, like uh, my focus. My focus is gonna go down a lot. Okay, cool, so... We took our medicine, we don't have to take it again, right? So it's at minus 10. Right now, we're still focused, so we're still good. But my sanity it was the important part. We have to reduce, we have to get it out of the negative. So we can at least do decent, you know. Let's try to pick things up here. Right, let's look at the laptop, let's see what's new. Maybe another story? Alright, so we did get another story. Awesome. And uh, it appears to be about the... Um, the sewers this time. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let us see now, guys. I'm gonna read this first and then do the read um, option there on the laptop. <clears throat> A violent incident in the sewer below the streets of Shinjuku in the late hours last night has resulted in the death of a detective in an apparent rescue gone wrong. The body of Detective Kazuki Tanaka, 29, was recovered last night after nearly week-long search. When he went missing off the streets of Kasumi Gaseki, 
The mysterious incident has left the police scrambling for answers and a suspect as the investigation continues into its second day. The detective who arrived first on the scene, Ayami Ito, has declined to make any comment to the press, but her superiors say that after, after following a lead, she was led into the sewers where she made contact with a lone female suspect. At that time, sources say the female suspect panicked and the incident ended violently before she could be apprehended. There are many unanswered questions. However, it appears that besides the... Stop it. No, I have to read it first. Alright, besides the lone detective, there were no other police on the scene. Calling into question how the case was handled. There is also a question of the missing suspect and why, after Detective Tanaka was killed, the suspect was not able to be restrained. The case comes into the midst of scrutiny on the police, in particular of the violent crime section, as part of the incidents of police neglected or questionable investigative practices have been made public. That was a little, that was my fault there, sorry. Let me read that over. The case comes in the midst of increasing scrutiny on the police, in particular the violent crime section as other incidents of police neglect or questionable investigative practices have been made public. Several experts have gone on record saying that Tokyo's police are not equipped to handle the recent wave of crime. The police have promised to release the results of their internal investigation as soon as possible. Superintendent Yukimura, who was in charge of both Detective Tanaka and Ito, has urged his department and the public at large to hold a judgment until all the facts are in. I've heard a lot of rumors around in the case, but we're barely a few hours into understanding what happened down there. I think it's too early to jump to conclusions. Okay, so yeah, he's still covering for us. We we know what happened personally, but I'm amazed that the police are actually able to cover this situation up like this. You know, people want to know, um, people are already becoming suspicious, like, what's going on? Like, you're the police, you're not doing your job correctly? Alright, so now let's read what she's going to read into it. An article from two weeks ago. Ooh, so it's already been two weeks. A little over two weeks, I'm assuming. Yeah, yes, two weeks. Everything in it is laid out so neat and factual, and it makes it so simple. Makes it seem so simple. It's like that all happened to someone else. Like the Ito on the page is a different person from some other world, yet it's not. That's what happened to me, or so they say. The article barely mentions the girl, the bloody bag, or the red paint. How can they write that like it's true? The press will try the press will try to simplify any story to sell papers, like Kazukiyoi said. Other things about the night don't add up either. After backup finally did arrive, they couldn't find the trace of the girl. Fingerprints on the red paint were in inconclusive, and the knife at the scene was clean too. That's what they told me, but there's no way that can be true. What really happened down there? Oh wait a second. Okay, so again, I'm I'm taking this game at face value right now. Like I'm I'm taking whatever they're telling me, you know, like however they want me to see the story, that's how I'm seeing it right now, but maybe something else is happening. Maybe that girl wasn't there at all. Okay, so I'm 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 digging too deep into this too early. Let's continue to see what's what's really happening. As you can see, I'm really invested into this game right now. Hopefully I do a better job than last time with my investigations. I've been avoiding spending too much time in this room lately. Memories of that night always comes flooding back whenever whenever I do. Sometimes I think I hear his voice just beyond the door, and then when I open it, I'll see him there, finding the last few weeks just to be a bad dream. But it's no dream. He's gone. I don't know what hurts more, the fact that he's gone or the way it happened, taken by a girl who shouldn't exist, Reina, that was her name. I remembered a few days after the sewer, but kept it to myself. At a debrief, they had, they had me talk to a station psychiatrist, and one look from her was enough to figure out what everyone else must be thinking. The police reports, the press, no one's mentioning the girl, but I saw what I saw. If she comes back, then maybe. If I could only get some time to collect my thoughts and investigate the scene myself, I'm sure I could find something to prove she was there. I doubt they'll let me anywhere near it though, at least for now. 
One way or another, I'll find the truth. Yes, we have to reach out to the truth. Okay, so I guess we go back. I thought we were going to go to sleep or something. Alright, somebody's knocking on that door. It must be that girl. The one that wanted us to, like, cook for us. Hey, I brought you some dinner. Konnichiwa. She looks really cute, and she looks really, like, happy. She probably knows what happened, and she wants to cheer us up. Thanks, Yumi. You didn't have to do that. You need to eat something, neighbor. Can't just sit it all day, right? I know that. It's just... It's all right. You don't have to thank me. I just... I... Ah, uh, I'm no good with this stuff. But Ayami, I'm... I'm really sorry. About Kazuki, I mean. I know that he meant a lot to you. And I didn't know him very well, but... Stop. Just stop. You don't... Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, Yumi. I didn't mean it. Forget it. Forget I said anything. I'm sorry I snapped at you. I guess it's all been a bit much. Earthquake? Th that was a big one, huh? I... Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. I know we're not the best of friends or anything. I was just worried is all. Sorry, Yumi. That's my phone. Work again? <laughs> it's like they know when we're talking. Yeah, maybe. I have to take this. And Yumi? Thanks for the food. Anytime. Hi. Ito here. Ito. I'm sorry I didn't call sooner. I, um... I need you to come into the station as soon as you can. What's this about? It'd be easier if we talked in person. See you soon. Interesting. What happened? And what was about- what was- like, we just casually like, oh, that was a big earthquake, huh? Pretty cool. Happens all the time. No need to go under the table or anything, you know, it's just a- just a regular old earthquake. What? A 9.7 magnitude earthquake? No problem at all, man. That's- you guys are worrying too much. Alright, so what do we- <laughs> let's talk to the person first. Or let's look at her first, I guess. That's an option, let's do that first. I've worked with Saki Ishibashi for years now, and she hasn't changed a bit. Her hard work and pleasant smile are only matched by her love of gossip. Okay, let's talk to her now. Oh, hey Ito. Uh, didn't think we'd see you back so soon. Konnichiwa. Well, ready or not, I'm here. I, um, about what happened. It's alright, Saki. You don't need to say anything. It's just so awful. And I know you two were close. I mean, I heard. Yeah, we were. But seriously, you can leave it alone. I'm fine. If you say so. But I'm glad you're being so positive. No matter what people say, I know you cared about him and did everything you could to save him. Thanks, Saki. Wait. What exactly are people saying? Um, I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up since we're friends. There have been, uh, some rumors about what happened to Tanaka. Rumors? What kind of rumors? Well, that's... Oh, maybe I shouldn't. I don't want to upset you. Out with it, Saki. We both know you can't keep something like that to yourself for long, so you might as well tell me now. Fine, but you didn't hear it from me, okay? On account of all the bad press surrounding Tanaka, the higher-ups looking for someone to pin this all on. Someone close to the case, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I understand. It's fine. Officer Bando told me earlier that Tyra was boasting about some promotion, and then I saw some movers going into your office on the CCTV earlier. I just... it doesn't look good is all. Tyra? That guy that... that guy needs a swift punch on the back of the head sooner than he needs a promotion. And movers in my office? This is too much. See? I told you you'd be upset. It's not all definitive, though. All I know for sure is what I've seen on the monitors and what Bondo's told me. Hold on a sec. Who's Officer Bondo? That's not some alias you come up with, isn't it? I only know that with you, one time, you figured it out right away. Bondo transferred in from Osaka a few weeks ago, and he's a total sweetheart. Sometimes... He comes and talks to me in front of the desk when he's free. Huh. Did he say anything about Tyra's mysterious promotion? Mmm, not that I remember. All I know is that he's been on the fourth floor doing some legwork 
for detectives lately and overheard it. If I run by my office, maybe I'll see this Officer Bondo and ask him myself. Hey, that reminds me. If you see him, could you give him this? What a cute little uh, stamp there or drawing. Looks like she has a crush. What is it? I don't think the frog drawing allows for standard police procedure. Do you like it? It's cute, right? Yeah, it looks cute. See, I'm trusting you with this because it's more of a private thing. You'll give it to him though, right? <sighs> sure, why not? I mean, I'm gonna see him anyway, so might as well like give him to this. Like, <sighs> It's like I died and gone back to high school. Yeah, sure. I'll give it to him, but you owe me. Professionalism mine of five. Get out of here with that, man. It's cool. Thanks, Ayami. You're the best. Guess you better head up to Yukimura's office soon, huh? <laughs> so you know about that too, huh? Thanks for keeping me up to date, Saki. Cool, cool. Let's have a look at this uh, monitor. Let's look at it first, then we ask her about it. All the CCTV cameras in the station can be viewed here. Saki always up to date on all the office drama by having an unrestricted view of the whole building. Cool. Now let's ask her about the CCTV. I see you haven't slowed uh, down in your viewable habits, Saki. Well, they do pay me to keep an eye out for suspicious behavior. It's not my fault if I happen to notice something other than the stuff at the same time. Like that Detective Ikeda always fixes his hair before he sees Detective Suzuki. Or that Officer Sato takes off his wedding ring when he enters the building. Anyway. I have to be careful. Yukimura says if anything happens on my watch that he'll make me pay for it. Ooh, yeah, you don't want that to happen, right? Oh, we can ask about Officer Bando. I keep pronouncing this guy's name differently, like Bando, Bondo, I think it's Bondo. So, what's the story with you and the new guy? Sending letters isn't exactly your usual subtle tactic, Saki. Hardy har har, very funny. This one's different. He seems like a keeper. And he's not half bad looking to boot. Ayami, it's almost, I'm almost 25. I'm practically an old woman. If I don't find someone and soon and settle down, I'll die alone. <sighs> Even listening to you stresses me out, Saki. I'm sure your prospects are fine. I have a typical Japanese woman conversation. They're 20-something. If they don't find someone to settle down with, uh, they're going to die alone, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. All we can do now is get out of here. I'm racking up my investigation points good, though. Wait, so we can go to different floors. Okay, then. Now it's an elevator scene. Interesting. So, they mentioned that Bondo was on the fourth floor doing some legwork for the detectives. So, let's look at that. Investigative unit's office. Tanaka and I have Tanaka and I have offices on this floor. Okay, yeah, so this is your floor, huh? So I can't go there. Evidence storage and forensics is in the basement. The reception level. Saki's probably sitting there now watching all the CCTV footage. Alright, so we're supposed to go to the seventh floor then. Yukimura's office, right at the top. Got it. Hopefully nothing happens in this elevator, like another earthquake or me getting stuck. That'd be very bad, wouldn't it? Hey, it's Yukimura. Superintendent Yukimura. Sorry to have to call you in like this, Ito. I know we promised you some time off after the whole rotten situation. I had meant to talk to you earlier, but with everything going on, well, you know how it is. It's been a media circus for the last two weeks. Damn reporters were waiting for an excuse that they could go out the throats and they find it. Then the deputy chief starts calling me. Then the chief. Hell, got a call from the mayor last night. All of them want this case solved and out of their mind. Heh. <laughs> if he was here to see it, Tanaka would be furious at all the bureaucracy. Can't even count the number of times he yelled at me at for a similar speeches I made to him. He was a good man. Yes, sir, he was. Let's cut to the chase. With every paper and news station covering your case, the mayor's demanding a formal inquiry on your conduct. 
Now, before you say anything, I'm not saying I would have done better in your shoes. The whole thing, it was rotten if you ask me. Unfortunately, there are no do-overs in police work, and even choices that seemed right at the time can turn around and bite us later. It's not only you. I made a mistake last night of sending you in alone. I'll pay for that too. Keep an eye on your professionalism, using the spin system from time to time. Don't give those vultures anything to pick at. Oh, oh my god, my professionalism is negative! It's not just about inquiry, though. I'm concerned about you. And the choices you make, professional or otherwise, have far-reaching effects in the future. The people who will work with you and trust you, the options you'll have available to you are all hinged on your ability- Oh, okay, keep a professional face, I got it. So they're still explaining the spin system to me, like, right now. One more thing. Given the circumstances, we think it's best to transfer you out of the violent crime department for the time being. Transfer? But sir, I don't understand. I've already done twice the amount of work as some of the veterans, and I've only been in the unit for a few years. Surely, my record should speak for itself. I mean, let's at least talk about it first. This isn't a negotiation, detective. Think of it as a chance to get a fresh start. For the next month, you'll continue to be on leave. Fully paid, of course. Of course, I'll need to take your badge until you return. The gun you can turn in downstairs. When you, can, when you come back, you'll be helping out with some of the vice and insurance fraud cases. As another detective will be moving into your place, we'll need to clear out your office. I've asked the movers to come in today and give you a hand. Do I make myself clear, Ito? It's frustrating. It's frustrating, but uh, I think the more professional answer, you know, I have to keep a professional face as well. You know, some people may perceive it as different, but I feel that this is the best option that will have people respect me more. There is more to this, clearly, but we can't just keep bringing that up because then we're gonna like lose our sanity. We're gonna seem more like a crazy person. At the end of this game, they're gonna put me in a hospital. I. I bet you that's what's gonna happen if I continue to act on just, you know, uh, half-assed answers. So I'm just gonna go with this. Cr crystal, you old hack. That That's very disrespectful. Professionalism plus 10. I knew it. I knew it. Sir, I understand your decision, but surely this move should only be temporary? That's enough, detective. Until the internal hearing about your case is complete, there will be no further discussion for this. Now, please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. The rest stays with us, and Ito, take care of yourself. Alright, so we've been dismissed from detective duty or the violent crime scene for some time. You know, it, it's good that they're at least, you know, um... They're at least gonna pay us for being away for some time. So I think the basement is where we have to turn in our weapon. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. Maybe. Maybe maybe not. Anyway, let's go here. Cause that's where our office is. We have to clean out our office now. Alright, let's keep walking. Okay, so we actually see other people in the background. We can't interact with them, but yeah. Uh, that must be Tyra. You know how I can guess? Because of the way that she described him earlier. Uh, saying like, this guy needs a punch in the back of the head before he needs a promotion. Oh, okay, I guess not. It is! Yo, I'm, yo, I'm nice. I'm nice like that. You guys probably made the same deduction too, as soon as we saw him. But I'm like, this guy, this guy looks arrogant as, mmm. He's probably that Tyra dude. He is probably him. Hey, Ito. Hold up. I heard you were back in the station. Real shame about Tanaka. He was one great detective. You're right. He was the best. Almost hard to believe he'd let himself get caught the way he did. I mean, it's weird, right? He goes missing and can't manage to contact anyone even once? 
I thought he would have tried to get in touch with you at least, since you were his partner and all. Anyway, you shouldn't blame yourself, Ito. It was dumb to send you down there alone with no backup. Let's face it, there's no way you could have handled that on your own. Are you implying something? Trying to imply something about me, Tyra? Who? Me? Nah. But what do you expect when they send a little detective all by herself? All I'm saying is, you could have used some help. Let's look at this guy. This jerk. He's a jerk. Sometimes I close my eyes and count to ten, hoping that when I open them, Tyro will disappear. Unfortunately, that tactic hasn't worked yet. Who is this guy? I once partnered with Detective Nita and was surprised by how competent he was. If he didn't attach himself to the hip to Tyra, he could probably be a good detective. I see. Alright, that's our office apparently. What the heck is this? An alarm for fires, earthquakes, or other emergencies. Earthquakes. We just had an earthquake. And that must be our office. They told me, uh, they told me that as the only female detective, it would only be best to give me extra space, which translated to sticking me at the end of the hall. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, she is like the only detective here. That's pretty cool. I mean, not pretty cool what happened, you know, and all that, but it's pretty cool that she's a, like the only female detective here. Right, and judging from, like, you know, again, um, referencing back to Persona 5, how Sai Nijima was, like, she seems to be, like, the only female officer, one of the only female, like, detectives, or prosecutor, she was a prosecutor, and she talks about how hard the workplace is for a woman and whatnot, and that's, that's probably, uh, still a thing in Japan as well, not just, like, not just respect of these games, but, yeah, it's something to think about. I mean, we're still seeing it in games today, so maybe the society is still like that, is what I'm trying to say. What a morning. I'm exhausted. First the bosses dump me out of violent crime, and then send movers ahead of me so everything in the station- so everyone in the station knows about my demotion before me. What a mess. And if I wasn't going through enough already, at least with my public shaming, I doubt anyone will have the courage to bother me in here. It gives me a chance to regroup and- Plan my next move. Okay, so we're still seeing glimpses of that mask. Very disturbing indeed, and the music just got a little louder. Very disturbing. Anything else we can look at? Uh, oh look, that's when she graduated. And that's when she was with Tanaka. A new email. Is in my inbox from Yukimura. It looks like it's gone now all to detectives. Let's see. Detective Ito has been under a lot of pressure. The tragic loss of Tanaka has affected us all. I think I see where this is leading. There it is. Ito will be temporarily reassigned. So he did make it public. How humiliating. Real nice of him to wait until I was out of his office before he hit send. Hmm. After all this time, why doesn't he believe me? Oh. She's remembering that scene again with the... Yeah... What is this, a key? Kazuki gave me this silver- oh, it's a hairpin. Gave me this silver hairpin for my birthday last year. Seems so long ago. Oh my lord. Again with the disturbing images. Well, the only thing we can do now is look at the boxes and then pack it up. I've been in this office for years now, quietly working my way into the boys club to be respected as a detective. Look at it now. All the hard work was shoved into some boxes to be handed off to whomever Brown knows their way into their promotion, no doubt. Can't help but feel like my hard work wasn't worth anything all these years, if it can be so easily packed away and forgotten. Oh boy, she keeps remembering. Yukimura doesn't believe me. I'm the laughing stock of the station and now I'm being moved out of the office to top it off. Doesn't get much worse than this. It's Yukimura's that stings the most. I thought I could trust him, but instead he tells me to turn my turn in my gun like I'm some sort of criminal. Sitting around here isn't going to change anything. If they won't investigate, I will. First things first. I need to get my hands back on that mask. Reina mentioned it over and over, and it's the only clue I have to go on. 
my lord stop it with that image it like it pops in so quickly in and out and it's like ah man it just adds to the uneasiness forensics gave the mask once over the stuff wait forensics gave the mask a once over and stuffed it down the basement i should go down and scope it out got it let's go It looks, like, it looks like I got the running thing down. Who is this guy? Officer Bondo. The recent transfer from Osaka. It seems that Saki on the front desk is quite smitten, smitten with this guy. Alright. Let's talk to him. Even though I'm facing that way, let's talk to the guy over there. <laughs> oh, great. Hi. You must be the new transfer from Osaka. I'm Detective Ito. That's right. Transfer me in last week. How you doing? Detective, please call me Bondo. Hey, he looks pretty okay. Y'all have got a big station here. <laughs> Embarrassed to say I can never find my way around Tokyo Branch all that well. I get myself lost half the time. Tell you the truth. So you must be the one that's all over the news. Don't worry. Never could trust the press. None of them know a damn thing about the police work. If you're asking me, it sounded like you caught a rough one. Sorry about your partner. Thanks. Rough is an understatement. Oh, we still have to give him the envelope. Ishibashi at the front desk wanted me to give you this. Huh? Saki did? Well, hand it over then. Let's have a look. Oh, well, uh, I didn't reckon she'd send something like this. That's just because you don't know her like we do, Officer Bondo. Yeah, well, do me a favor, would ya? I know, I know. Not exactly professional, but tell her to meet me on the roof in about 20 minutes. I do it myself, but I'm too busy. You see, the only reason I'm accepting this anyway is because we're going to have to go to the first floor anyway and tell her. So, I mean, oh, my God. And I just got my professionalism up, man. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. This is really. Whatever. Let's go for it. <clears throat> let's go for it. I mean, I've already increased it by up. Let's let's reduce it again, cause I'm gonna go down there anyway. I mean, I would I'm going off my personal preference. If I were a detective, I know I, I know my partner just died. Things are not exactly going well for me. What else do I have to lose, man? I don't care about my professionalism at this point. I'm like, look, I have I have um, ulterior motives right now. I'm trying to get something from the basement. You guys probably have the masks down there, so I don't care. Okay, sure. Take away how many points you want away from my professionalism. Go right ahead. All right, all right. But not a word to this of any of the other detectives, got it? You got it, Ito. You're all right. I'll crack this work out and get the upstairs when I can. I owe you one. Sweet, I didn't lose any professionalism. Awesome. It probably would have made me look bad if I said, like, ask her yourself. I'm too busy. You know, he probably would have felt bad. I'm like, damn it, man. You know, I, I, f I feel for the guy. I feel for the guy. Alright, so she wanted to go to the basement. Let's go to the basement. It's the camera. Oh, Saki is watching. A security camera watches the entrance to the locker 24-7. Okay, then. So what do we do? All right, let's talk about the earthquake. They didn't think you'd stick around down here after the bear earthquake this morning, Mori. Uh, don't remind me. I'm trying to keep myself off of it. How you holding up, detective? Taking it one day at a time, I guess. Honestly, I'm surprised to find you still working evidence. Tanaka put in recommendations for your promotion. Yeah, I think the people upstairs have got their things on their mind right now. Uh, from the sound of things. Besides, I think they stuck me down here because I was asking too many questions on my last case. May have pissed off a few wrong people. Ick. It makes me squirm thinking what it'd be like in an earthquake in the basement. I wish you hadn't reminded me. Oh, and I'm really sorry about Tanaka, Detective Ito. I respected him a lot. He would truly be missed. Thanks. I miss him too. The gate to the evidence room is locked. 
Mori has a key. But in desperate times, I've seen Tanaka pick the lock to get in. Huh. How, how the heck am I running? Alright, so let's... Let's talk to this guy. I can't? So how do I do that? There must be some other way. So I can't talk to him anymore. I was gonna ask him about the locker, but I, you know, I wanted to do some small talk about the elevator. I mean, about the about the earthquake, not the elevator. All right, so that uh, didn't work out too well. Maybe let's go to the first floor and see um, if we can talk to Saki about this. We do have to let her know anyway to go to the roof, you know, about the about the guy. Bando's on the roof. Oh, excellent. She goes to the roof. She's going to have to do this quick. I see now. I see now. It worked out for us. It worked out for us. So we're going to make her go to the roof. And we're going to have to find something quickly to move fast. Go to the basement. Distract that officer. Pick the lock or do whatever. You know, get open and be in and out. I mean, of course, they're going to see me in there. But still, she's not going to see me immediately. They probably won't notice until way later anyway. I passed on that letter you gave me. You did? Way to go, Ayami. What'd he say? Was it too much? Wait. You didn't read it, did you? Oh, God. You read it. Please forget everything you saw. S slow down. I didn't read it. He asked me to tell you to meet him on the roof as soon as possible. On the roof? That's romantic, right? It's like on the TV drama. Oh, dang it. If I leave my post and something happens to those cameras, you can mural gold nuclear. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I've got it. You're not on duty now, right? Watch the front desk for me. I won't be long. Ten minutes, tops. Please, please, please? Sure. That's my girl. I knew I could count on you not to stand in the way of the true love. I'll be right back. With Saki gone, I could disable the recording systems. Disable the recording systems, move around the station without being seen, but not... Okay. Oh, that is a better idea. Right. I didn't know you could do that. So with Saki gone, I could disable the recording systems and move around the station without being seen, but not without getting her in trouble with Yukimura. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Professionalism minus 10. I lost professionalism, but we needed this anyway. So let's switch the cameras off. I know this will hurt you, Saki, but I need that mask and I can't have anyone seeing me. So we turned the cameras off so that she won't be able to see me, you know, like, uh, turn the recording off. And it is going to get her in trouble at the end of the day because you're going to see a missing, like, gap. Like, hey, how come it went from 12.04 p.m. to 12.14 p.m.? Like, where, where, what happened in between? Saki, did you leave your post? That's, it's really messed up. You know, I feel bad for her, but, I mean, we need to find out the truth. And unfortunately, some sacrifices have to be made. Saki seems like such a sweet girl, too. I really feel bad for doing that to her. There, there probably was a better way of doing this. Knock him out? Oh my god, I feel like we're going a little too far now. But that's it. We're in deep water. We can't go back now. The evidence was locked away. And there's no other way... There's no other option. I didn't take it. I didn't take any pleasure in it, and he was out before he hit the ground. I respected Mori, but at the moment he was in my way. I probably lost some. I, I probably lost something because that was the first thing I did. Sanity minus five. Professionalism. I lost everything. I yo everything went to negative. Oh no 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 no. Oh my god, negative forty, and I worked so hard to get that back up, and I just lost it again. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> there probably was another option. I probably could have picked the lock. Like, maybe distract them. That would have been the better option. I told I told myself that before, like a few minutes ago. What am I doing? And instead, I knocked the guy out. This is, I'm going rogue. That's it. 
I'm literally going rogue right now. Damn, can the situation get any worse right now? Man, and I told myself I was not gonna do any dumb moves anymore, man. I felt like that was that was really dumb. That was really dumb. Man. As I held the mask in my hands again, I immediately questioned why I'd gone through such a great lens to get it back. A small piece of evidence wasn't worth the risk. It wasn't the answer to my problems. As strange as it sounds, I'd hoped the mask would react the same way it did when I touched it in Kamakura. At least that would have justified what I'd done and proved the sensation I'd felt the day when it was in my head. Or your hand. The mask I held it in the evidence locker room, um, locker, was nothing more than rough, old wood, no voices, no visions, only an eerie quiet left in the wake of anticipation. Of course, I held on to it. The case was only getting started. Reina's obsession uh, with it couldn't be an accident. It still had to be part of the play. Damn. I hope we're able to complete the story here as well, because I know some games like to like split it off or something, like it has an ending, but then there's gonna be like a sequel. Maybe there will be a sequel to this game, but I hope we're able to have like a decent conclusion in this game where I can, you know, accept the ending. Not like Amber, that freaking ending had me messed up, man. The kinetic novel, the heartbreaking novel, man, that was, it's heartbreaking indeed. The mask in my hands, I quickly got out of the station and jumped on the first train back to Shinjuku. Oh, we're going back to Shinjuku! Back to the alley where the whole mess had started. Something told me there was more to find in the sewer. The mask itself could wait until later. As the train made its way there, images and thoughts from that night engulfed me. I started to feel queasy. When my stop approached, the pit in my gut changed from fear to something else. I realized I'd had enough of other people telling me what to feel and or how to act. I don't know what to expect. But I know that the only one who could give me any sense of closure was myself. Exactly. I feel like I took this game in a whole different direction after I knocked out the police. I went AWOL. I'm like, I'm probably never going to have that job again back. They're probably going to put me like an indefinite leave. I don't, know if I, I don't know how the Tokyo police or the police in Japan in general work. But uh, maybe, maybe in the US, they probably would have gotten a slap on the wrist. Like, what are you doing, man? You knocked out an officer. You're stealing evidence. You're like... You're you're gonna be you're gonna be put on leave for some time because you're you're clearly acting a little crazy. It's probably what they would do here in the United States. Uh, I mean, you know, cops have done a lot worse and they've gotten away with it. Some of them have at least. Oh, so we're back here. Let's talk to this lady. Hey, lady, remember me? You again? Hey, take it easy. I saw what you did to Goto at the bar the other night. I don't want any trouble. What'd I do to Goto? I didn't do anything to that guy. All I did was show him a picture of himself. We traded. <laughs> we traded information. He gave me the rope too. You can relax, I'm off duty. Besides, you know as well as I do that guy was a scumbag. Making him wet his pants was the only way of getting anything useful out of him. Ha! Can't exactly argue with that. But scum or not, he's a big earner. You could have been a bit more gentle. Heh, <laughs> sorry. It's fine. I'm sure he'll be back eventually, whether I want him to be or not. Anyway, I, uh, heard on the news about what happened to you and your partner that night. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Thanks. I didn't figure you'd care that much about what happened to a cop, all things considered. Considering what? My job? It's true. Police come in here all the time and act like gods. They order drinks, threaten me, and feel me up thinking I don't care. My boss tells me to ignore it since happy cops are good for business. Honestly, they're worse than the customers that they're supposed to protect us from. So yeah, all things considered, I don't love the police, but that doesn't make me a robot. Nobody deserves to die alone. If you told your buddies at the station that something terrible like that happened to me, somebody, no, some nobody hostess, do you think they'd give a shit? I would. I wish I could say you're wrong, but years of the force have taught me being a police officer doesn't make you a better person. A lot of people lose sight of what it is to be human just because some government official gave them a badge. How long have you been doing this job? Not long. Only about two years. 
and four different shops. They all promise the same thing, better pay and customers that will treat you with respect. I'm still waiting on both of those things. Business has been in the pits lately, and I've gotten some offers that might pay better, but... But? But they're at clubs with more adult vibe. They said I wouldn't have to do anything weird, but I don't know. I've heard rumors about what can happen to some of the girls in those places. Country girl like me doesn't exactly have a whole lot of job prospects, and it'd be good money. This one's easy. Don't do it. But, ever hear the phrase, those who don't learn history are doomed to repeat it? Uh, no, not really. Well, take it from me. No one's going out of their way to help you, but that doesn't mean you can't help yourself. Just think it over before you say yes to that offer, okay? To think I'd be getting advice from a cop. Alright, I'll think about it. You got a name? Yeah. It's Miho. Don't tell anyone, though. The bosses don't like it when customers know our real names. Between us girls, I've wanted to slam Goto into a wall for months. See you around, detective. Ah, oh, so we're good buddies now. You see, we have a nice talk. We didn't have to do drinks. We didn't have to, like, get into a fight or anything. We just had a simple talk. She sympathized, and I'm like, look, I would care for you, too. Because personally, yes, like, um... If I know somebody has died, somebody that I had recently, you know, like, a random host is whatever, but I spoke to you, I knew this person, you died. That's messed up. I, I would feel for that. But that's just me, you know, like, not everybody's like me, so you might have chosen differently. Right, so it's really nice that we're now, like, buddy-buddy with her, you know? Ah, oh, it's this guy, I remember. Let's go talk to him, too. Because this guy, if you remember correctly, I liked him a lot. Oh, hello, detective. I uh, heard about what happened the night after the other after the other police and the reporters showed up. I'm real sorry to hear about your partner. I can't even imagine what it's like to lose someone like that. Thanks, Daiso. Right? Yep, that's me. I'm surprised you remembered that, detective. No need for the detective. I'm not on duty. Ayami is fine. How are things? Did that night hurt your business too? In all honesty, business wasn't really better or worse because of it. If anything, I got a little uptick when the reporters were here. But eventually they left too, just like everyone else. It was always my dream to cook up to cook and start a restaurant, but it's been a constant uphill struggle. What's the point? Don't give up. I'm, I know it might not mean much coming from me, but I believe you should stick it out through the end no matter what. A lot of it comes down to attitude, right? If you stay down in the dumps, people will taste the emotion in the food. That's something no amount of alcohol can mask. Yeah, I guess. I've been beating myself up for weeks now. Maybe that's not helping, huh? I mean, I'm still competing with the scumbags around here, but I'll try and keep my head above water for now. Thanks, detective. Er, uh, Ayami, stop by again anytime. Drinks on the house. Thanks, Daiso. Maybe I'll take you up on that one day. Uh, he's a cool guy. I wanted to, I want him to keep up, cause you know, it's a rundown place, but it's a cool place you can hang out. Like I, I don't, I don't do bars myself. Like I don't go to bars. I don't go out to drink at night ever. Not even rarely. Maybe on an occasion I could possibly do that with a group of friends. But it, it looks like a cool place. It looks like a place that I can actually sit down, you know, relax, kick off the rocks and whatnot. I'm not sure if that was the proper term to use there, but you guys know what I'm saying. Alrighty then. Keypad. Alright, so it's the same keypad as last time. There's no way we're getting in without the code. The dumpster again. A smell of rotting meat. A phone ringing over and over. Reyna did all that. Did all that really happen? Alright, so they seem to have sealed it up. Let's go back in here. Maybe the guy is back in there? Oh, we don't see the girl again. Ah, uh, I'm about to say. Oh, hey, is that detective from the other night? I wonder if she rem I wonder if she remembers me. Kobayashi, huh? That detective is right here. And can hear you. And she's standing right next to you, Kobayashi. What? How do you know my name? It's on your name tag. Wait, where's his name tag? 
I don't see a name tag. Don't think too hard about it, kid. You might hurt yourself. Anyways, I'm just like surprised. You you need to talk to me again. I don't. Just passing through. Oh right, that's good. I think I already said everything I could to the other guy. Would have to rack my brain pretty hard to come up with new material, you know? What other guy? Tido? Titus? Typhoon? Tyra? Detective Tyra was here? What did you tell him? Oh, right, Tyra. Yeah, I told him you were here and you were pretty hardcore. You told him I was hardcore? What does that mean exactly? You know, I told him how you, how you were a cop that, like, didn't play by the rules. Who had a drink if they wanted to, like, you know, take the edge off of stuff. You told him I... Shit, what else did you say? Ah, not much else to tell. I told him that I had a firecracker outside before you came in. <laughs> oh man, you, the actions from the beginning part are catching up to me. No! I told him I heard a firecracker outside before you came in, and about the broken lock, and how you said you'd been, how you seen a strange girl. I mean, nothing bad! Whoa, your eyes are all intense there for a sec. That's nothing. Just dust in my eyes. Painful, stupid, idiotic dust that is causing me to squint. Harshly. Oh yeah, detective, you should be careful, it's super dusty in here. Thank you. I am going to leave now. You enjoy your day. Oh man, that is not good. That, hey, it's that cat again. We've seen that cat in a lot of places. That little white cat, the cat's toy? Could that mean something? Am I digging into something too deep again? We'll find out pretty soon. Let's get out of here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, let's look back at the sewers. This police tape is all that's left of the department's investigation. They're more focused on writing me off as insane than finding answers in that sewer. Alright, let's go in. Can we answer? It's now or never. No more excuses. I need to have a look around and find out exactly what really happened last night. Yo, so that guy, Kobayashi, is a snitch. He knew I was drinking. This guy, he, he's plain dumb. We should have knocked him out too. We should have kidnapped the guy and throw him in the sewers too. Like, oh, so you like snitching to other detectives, huh? Come over here, Kobayashi. I have a present for you over here. Yeah, yeah, like people are calling me crazy anyway. Might as well continue to go with it, right? Come on, dude. That was messed up. The air still feels heavy and stale as it did the night when I came here, looking for Kazuki. Doesn't look like much has changed since then. I'm not sure why I expected anything different. Even if it turns out to be nothing, I should have a look around and see what I can find. I've already come this far anyway. Yep, we've, we're have already here this far. So let's see what we can find. Oh, the rope is still here. That's nice to see. No one seemed to question why the Shrine Gate was down here, or who put it here in the first place. Yukimura said it wasn't relevant to the case. Sure, yeah, it's not relevant to the case. Like, oh yeah, there's dead bodies everywhere, a shrine here, a temple, some big, large snake down there. Not relevant to the case, so don't even include it. We got it. We got it, dude. The red markings Reina drew are still on the wall. Was she trying to guide me to her, or were they there for something else? I kind of assumed that she was guiding me there, like telling me, like, hey, come down here. The bottom of the well is hidden in darkness, so let's go down. They could have at least used a different rope to get down there. Touching it once was enough. <laughs> Touching it once enough for a one lifetime thanks. Oh well, I've got no choice. And they show her climbing down the rope again. Oh my god. That fat guy must be rolling right now, wherever he's at. He's like, oh yes, everybody's touching me. Everybody, like, because the rope was on him, so technically we're, like, touching him. Alright, the music just got uh, really creepy. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to reduce my own volume real quick. Maybe it was a mistake to come here. All that's left for me here is horrible memories, but I saw Reina, a girl who couldn't possibly be alive in this tunnel, I'm sure of it. Yukimura and the others didn't see what I saw. 
I have to keep going. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I thought I would have fall down. Alright, so there's another arrow. It looks like we can keep going down. I'm, I think the guy died here, though, because as soon as we got down, he, he died immediately right there. Alright, so let's look at this. More paint? The reports on that night never mentioned this. Could they have missed something so obvious? There's another hatch going further down into the sewer. It's possible Reyna escaped through here that, in that night. Maybe I wasn't so far off the mark after all. Right, only thing we can do is go down. If Reyna used this hatch, I might be able to find some proof to take to Yukimura and put his doubts to rest once and for all. I'd better keep my guard up. Yes, you should, girl. You should do that. What was that voice? So, we can turn on the lights then? Okay, so there's nothing over there. Wait, let's turn on these lights. Oh, what the heck? I thought I thought I was like I thought it was like a puzzle. So I was kind of like staring to see if like the lights I had to turn them on in a certain order. I guess not. I see, I see. I think it's like a puzzle. Huh? Is this some sort of trick? It looks as the same as where and I came in. Does it have something to do with the lights? It does, it does. Ah, oh, God. I'm gonna go crazy down here. Alright, turn that one on. Alright, so I guess I have to keep the ones on. No, wait a second. Come on, what are you doing? Calm down. The lights are flashing in some sort of order. There might be something to it. I know, I'm trying to figure that out. Come on, I'm losing my focus. Oh, wait a second. I think I see. I think I see now. No, wait a second. Why are you going back? I think I see it now. I think I see it now. Give me a second. Don't stop right there. Stop right there. Can I even interact with that one? I don't think I can. thought I saw some sort of pattern. I see. Let me turn this off. Can I turn it off? Alright, so it stays on. Got it. Yeah, so that it was like that. So the lights were flashing in a certain number, so it's like one, two, three, four. So I had to go from one to the highest number, basically. And it helped that the fingerprint on one, the handprint I saw, 
I guess that signified one. The one that had three signified three. And so I kind of just figured it out from there. But I, it kept resetting me every time I went all the way to, the, way to the end. All right, let's go, run. What is that? She's an idol? Or she was like some kind of musician? That's Reyna, that's definitely Reyna. Reyna, what is this doing here? Why would you leave this behind? All right. The door seems stuck. I'll have to pry it open. Better head back up to the surface to see if there's like a crowbar or something. Oh boy, back up, huh? Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, really? Oh, wait, wait, what is this? What is that noise? Shit, the hatchet closed. I'm trapped. This isn't good. I have to get out of here. Uh, maybe there's another way out? It's not real. It's not real. It's just a... It's an episode. Like the doctor said. It's not real. Koski said it wasn't real. Kazuki. Kazuki. Somehow. Somehow I knew I'd find you if I came down here. Wait, don't go, please. Don't leave me again. Tanaka. What? What is going on? Okay, clearly this girl is going crazy. I mean, something is up. Something is happening. I want to figure it out. What's going on, dude? What was that? Dude, that was... It, it was creepy enough. Like, look. Honest to goodness, yeah. You see the decisions I'm making in this game? So, we're in a game. It, it's just a game, right? But in real life, there were some things, some things there, there was, like, I would have done, like, the drink earlier on. It was a mistake on my part. Cool. But it seems like something I would do if I walked into a bar. Well, actually, no. I, I wouldn't have done that. I was going based off movies, like I was saying. Like, uh, I've seen some movies where detectives actually took the offer of getting a drink and talking to the people in the bar to get some information. It's happened before. I guess there was those were corrupt cops or something like that. But yeah, those I made those decisions based on like what I've seen in movies, not really my personal. Personally, I wouldn't have done that because like I just said earlier, I don't go out to bars, I don't drink like that, only on like rare occasions like at parties or you know, just parties, I guess. So, this girl has to be going crazy. She just has to be going crazy. Something's going on. So yeah, like I was I was trying to say that I uh, you would not catch me down there ever. Like in a sewer, I'm not going down those freaking stream um storm drain. Like maybe the first time I would have gone there, like because you know, Kazuki was there, I just got the phone call, like, oh he's down there, let me go down there. But after that I'm never going down there again. I'm like, well, RIP, because I ain't going down there anymore. But yeah. Especially when some creepy like stuff like that happens, man. I have bad memories. Oh my god. My head's pounding like it was hit by a damn fright train. My room? How did I get back here? I don't remember. The tunnel and the noises in the nightmare all felt like it as the sheets in the bed. Kazuki. I saw Kazuki, didn't I? I felt like he said something to me. What was it? Well, we didn't see anything. He just kind of like left. But how did I get home? I was in Shinjuku, and I went into the sewer. Then... then what? Maybe Tanaka was right. I'm pushing myself too hard. At this rate, I'll burn out if I'm not careful. 
Oh no. We were there. But why is that here? Huh? What's this? The photo from the tunnel. Impossible. That can't be. It was a nightmare. A delusion. It wasn't real. I must have picked it up in the in the station, but no. I've never seen this before. Why can't I remember? Could it have been real? If it was, then that means Koski really is out there somewhere, just like Reyna was. Why this photo? Some sort of stage performance? Oh, I didn't notice the date. It says 1996. At any rate, there's no doubt about it. That's Reyna, all right. Maybe someone will recognize her? My mind is racing. I need to take a moment and get my thoughts together before I do anything rash. Yeah, I'm... Uh, let's check our stats real quick. We're, we're pretty crazy, all right. Look at our sanity. Oh, my God. I need to take the medicine because we, we need to get our sanity back up. And our professionalism is in the dumps as well. At least our investigation is still up there. We're still a little bit focused. We're shaken. We're unprofessional. And we're stressed right now. We're not in the best situation to be in right now. So, oh boy. This is fun. This is fun. All right, so we're back in this room. Um, guys, I'm going to have to cut it off here. And we're going to have to continue this in the next part. All right, guys? Yeah, I, I didn't want to make this too big like the last part was. Honestly, I, I'm already over the the time I wanted to do this by. But yeah, it's I just, I'm just i really hooked on it right now. We, we, we got to see the police station. Uh, she got demoted and moved somewhere else. She's still going to be paid on a time off. But we managed to get a hold of the mask. We went rogue in the police station. And, you know, it's going to probably reflect really bad on me by the end of the game. You know, like, that that's going to affect me. Like, you see how when I shot the gun, I drank the whiskey? Now Tyra knows about that. That's already as bad as it is. Like, you thought it was bad that I knocked out a, an officer down there to take some evidence, the mask. I'm going crazy, though. I'm making my character go crazy. I have to make better decisions for next time. Anyway, that is all I have for you in this part of Tokyo Dark. It doesn't look like we finished the game this time, but maybe next time we'll actually finish the game. I don't know, because, you know, I'm, I still have my head that people have done this in about four hours. Like, four hours of gameplay, but they played it through. Like, I'm taking time, like, I'm pausing, and I'm, like, reading and talking to you as well. So, yeah, that's why I'm taking a little longer with this. And I'm reading a little slower and making decisions a little slower and whatnot. You know, it's just, that's just how I play my games. All right, guys? But, yeah, it's Blackwing K. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. If you're still watching at this point and you are new to this channel, hey, uh, welcome to the community. Welcome, and uh, I hope you do subscribe and look forward to more new content on this channel. Right now, I'm putting more attention on this right now, but there's other stuff that you're probably seeing along with the releases of this. And for those of you who watch my videos on the bases, uh, hey, how's it going? Sorry for the lack of live streams. I'm coming back on that soon. Don't worry. Or by the time you see this, I'm probably already back with the live streams. But yeah, it, it's being fun right now doing this whole video series thing. And I, I hope you guys continue to look forward to some more. Again, it is Blackwing K and I am out of here. So I'll see you in the next part. This story is just getting started.